Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and as you can see I am going in with my P. Louise base and just prepping the lids for my Carnival Pro palette and the first shade I'm going in with is Mood and I'm just kind of building that depth up in the outer part of the eye. And as you can see I'm just kind of making it almost into a sort of a, a V shape or a C shape kind of in that area because um, that's kind of where I want most of the depth to be and I'm not pulling that blue all the way into the inner part of the eye. As you can see I'm going in with this green shade here, the Hype, and that is going to be in the inner part of the eye so I'm blending that kind of with the blue so it looks more seamless and dragging that in the inner part of the eye. So the next shade that we're going in with is this kind of deeper forest green because I do want the look to look more green than blue so I'm going to blend that mood colour out with that green shade and kind of just dragging it out making it look really smoky. And so the next shade that we're going to go in with is this very like mint colour, it's called Y though. And um, that's kind of blending out the inner part of the eye, that green, just really blending it out. Then we're going in with the Hype. Um, so this is slightly lighter green, so this will be good for blending it all out together. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And, you know, at, at one point I do think that this looks a bit more turquoise than green. So I do kind of um, sort that out. And then I'm going to go in with Ecstasy. This colour is the showstopper, basically. You know, this is the colour. Um, it's like a neon lime kind of green and as you can tell just buffing it in the transition shade there Just making a world of difference. Just making that green really pop Then going back in with Mood here and dipping a little bit in with the black because I didn't think it was deep enough in um, the outer V so I wanted to really deepen it up and black is always a good colour to use. Obviously I didn't use it too much but you know applying it with the blue shade kind of helped do bit by bit basically. And then you'll see me now and then just kind of reapplying shades that I've already used just to make sure it's all still blended together and there's no sort of harshness or anything to the look. Then going back in on my P. Louise base and I'm just doing a cut crease. It's I think one of the most dramatic yet yeah, easiest things you can do with an eye look. Um, so yeah, just carving out that cut crease to make it look uh, slightly bigger than my lid, basically. If we're going for the dramatic effect, then yes. Um, and then just kind of blending out that outer part with the colours that I've already used. So like I've used Mood and I used that forest green. And then going in with Ecstasy, that beautiful green shade. Um, that's going to be the star of the show, like I've already said. That's going straight on in the lid, in the lid, on the lid. As you can see, I'm using that fluffy brush to kind of make sure that the, the neon green and the forest green kind of blend nicely together. With mattes, you need to be a little bit careful, so just blending it bit by bit just to make sure they look, you know, melted together. Also, as I'm applying this, I will let you know that the whole day that I wore this eye look, that neon green shade did not crease on me and my lids are prone to creasing. So these eyeshadows are like, you know, they're like glue, like, you know, they're not budging, which is super good, especially with people with creasy eyes like me. Um, so yeah, I just did the other eye there and just applying some liquid liner and using the Balm Schwing liner, just doing a straight up line, not doing anything fancy or winged out or anything. And you'll see me in a minute um, blend the outer part of the wing with some shadow just because I don't like the harshness that it looks like at the minute. So I like to just kind of blend, blend the end out. I just think it looks nicer.
Then to prepare my lashes, I'm just gonna use some mascara so that my falsies will kind of, you know, melt in with my lashes per se. And I'm using my Doll Beauty Lashes in Esmeralda. These are, these have just got to be my favorite lashes. They are just amazing. I could wear these every day, like dramatic look or not, I will wear these every day. They're just, def they're nice, really nice, basically. <laughs> So I'm going to move on and do the face off camera and I'm going to move on to the lower lash line so going in with mood and I'm not dragging that all the way in the inner part of the lash line, literally just keeping it on the outer part of it, just to keep it you know, nice and dark there. And then to blend, blend that dark blue shade towards the inner part, I'm going to use this green here which you know kind of mirrors what we did to start with. Then we're going to use um, that neon green, that ecstasy shade, and that's basically, we're just linking that from the transition shade on the top of our lid and just sweeping that straight from the lower. So it's all going to kind of link in together and yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm really, really blending that out. I really wanted it to look smoked. And then to finish the look off, I am going to use some mascara and I did apply a brow bone highlight. I used my highlighter. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I did. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did something a little bit more green. I've been seeing the green a lot on Instagram, so kind of wanted to take advantage of the, of the trend and go for it. So yeah, if you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Give me any suggestions that you want to see in the next video. And also feel free and subscribe. Thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers. That means so much to me. Yeah, it's just super cool. And also feel free and follow me on IG. My IG is lacy.maker. Feel free and give us a follow. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.